Sam the Eagle presents... Hey, it is. What about juvenile delinquency? That's a viable career option. Sure. Yep. Past president disbarred for delinquency. <laughs> and, of course, music by the Royal Delinquent Orchestra, Philip Brunel. Centron, the dawning of a new day. Ah, huh, the Barton Milner gang! <coughs> oh, they're so clammed into! Here's my dad to pick us up. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go study. Woo. Where are we heading? Tell you when we pick up James. In other words, you don't know. Hmm. I'm sure glad we got the car washed. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball run, well within the speed limit. What's that guy waiting for? Hmm? Get him a bomb! Yeah. Yeah. Gordon, jump! Turn him again! I'll cut it out. We're getting a jam. <laughs> Come on, move it! Well, cars were made to take it back then. What do you folks think you're doing anyway? Uh, our Maytag broke, sir. What was that you called us? I just bought that car. Now look. He's changing into the Incredible Hulk. When good-natured ribbing goes too far. <laughs> they flattened him! Oh! Oh. Oh, Willard Scott, I'll gently polish you. We have just enough time to get into my Bo Peep outfit. <laughs> what is she living, Shakey's? Oh, my dusting is so bourgeois. And quit playing that ragtime. No, going out as soon as the guys come by again. Ruth and J.D. Hare. It's already after eight. I don't know why you can't stay home for one evening. Oh, my, I can see up your dress. A little bit. Just where is it you're going, Jamie? Crack house. Why? I knew I'd tell you. I don't know. Don't kill your father. Well, at least my dress matches the wallpaper. Uh -huh. Who are the dark teams? Darkness, darkness. A dry cleaner. One hour, guys. Let's martinize. Use the doors, please. You start out not using the doors, and next thing you know, you're beating up Gordon Jump. Norm! 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 <laughs> All right, Bridge Club. What do you have, boys? I'll write your orders from the new pencil. Hey, those are great. My dad's got one just like it. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Shop and save. We just swarmed all over a guy. Fell out of his pocket. What? When did this happen? Just before we picked you up. We bought some guy in a big Buick and he gets out and starts getting smart. Yes, that's smart. Boy, did we give it to him. We sure messed him up. You should have been there, Jamie. <laughs> was he? I don't know. Yeah. Some big ball headed guy. <laughs> Do you smell onions? What kind of a car did you say it was? Oh, it was uh, a... The Ford Lack. What's the matter with you? I asked you what kind of a car it was. I want to know. It was a yellow Buick. Why? Just trying to draw you out. You want some fries? Fish your space pen. What do you want to know for, Jamie? Where's the little delinquent's room? Get this thing off me. You're gonna miss the soup of the day, jerk. What's his trouble? I don't know, but this isn't a place to find out. The no shoulder game. We'll see him in the morning at school when we give this to him. We gotta get better patches. Oh, ow, oh, dear, it's just lemon juice. Oh, wow. Jamie. How's Dad? How do you know? He's always been my dad. I, I heard it over the radio. How is he? He'll be all right. He's kind of rubbery. He's resting now. Or he's dead. It's hard to tell with him. He was terribly shaken up and bruised, though. And they took his pencil pouch. Oh, it makes me sick to think about. Look at his nose get mildewed. Jamie. Massage me, will you? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not the daughter you want. nothing for you to be sorry about, son. Hmm. Wasn't your fault. Yeah, the next weekend, Dad's golf buddies come and beat up Jamie. Son, you have angel hair pasta on your shirt. I wonder if this is going to get melodramatic. Okay, come on, I'll take you both on. I'm all right now. You better get upstairs to bed. I'll be up in a minute. I'm sorry, Dad. 
bad. Now, at this point here, the, the, the mood shifts to a lovely adagio. It's fantastic. You expecting a flood, son? Just upstairs and to the left, son. It always was. We're alone. Love me! It's the eye of the... Oh, boy. You let your teeth still shake. It's a bellboy convention. <laughs> Better take this back, Jamie. We didn't know it was your dad, Jamie. We wouldn't have done it if we'd known. Leave me alone. Take it, Jamie. You keep it. We're trying to say we're sorry. I don't want anything more to do with it. Now, look, Jamie, don't get smart. Don't forget, you could have been along instead of one of us. Could have been one of our dads. Tell you what, you can beat up my dad. Me moping around if it had been my old man. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting a thing. What? Just count me out from now on. There he is. Jamie, my back up you. Talk to you. He's busy. Did you have an appointment? Good morning, Jamie. Have you read about the special session of the city council they're having this morning? And all the things they're talking about doing. A curfew, upping the age of driver's licenses. Canceling the football games, the parties, the dances, and everything else. And there's witches. Jamie, most of the high school students Ooh. haven't had anything mm. to do with the things that have been happening. Like last night, and the statue that was broken, and the theater seats, and all that. And the Suez Canal all incident. To suffer for it. I didn't have anything to do with it either. And don't look at us. We didn't kick over any statues. You've got to help us, Jamie. Well, what do you expect me to do? Mr. McPherson said we could go. He excused us from school. And he said you could go with us. Look, all of you, leave me out of everything you're planning. All I want to do is mind my own business. But this is your business, Jamie. You heard him. He's not going anywhere. He's no sap. We're going to the city council. <laughs> right now, you guys are more afraid than we are, but you're not fooling us. You think you can laugh oh. at anybody who stands up to you. Art. And pretty soon everyone else is laughing at him. And you next, think you won. Next card, please. Thank you. Well, I don't care if you laugh or not. It won't be funny if the city council does what they're talking about. I wouldn't advise any of you to go to that meeting if I were you. I'm warning you. Are you going with us, Jamie? No, he's not. I'm talking to Jamie. Torn between two peer groups. What do you want me to do? They'll listen to you, Jamie, because it was your dad that... Awkward. Permit me to sing something from oh, Animal Mantra. You're not going anywhere. <gasps> Martha Graham, run! You boys haven't been moving the stuff very well. Mm -hmm. It's my turf now. Pete, wait, Julie, and Speed. <laughs> hmm? Whoa, banana peel. I go second. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. Right. Wrong. Go back up. There, there, there. 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 Elliot Nesson is untouchables. We're in hot pursuit. Get to the helicopter. The helicopter. Oh. Meanwhile, back at the convent. This is 100% pure democracy. Okay, everybody, hurry up and vote. Come on. Oh, hold on, let me get some literature. What's the rush? There's gonna be three hours of zoning stuff first. We're not talking about pranks and letting off steam. We're talking about criminal acts of violence. We're talking about trouble right here in River City. We're around beating up people and wrecking things to prove how tough they are. Then it's time we prove to them just how tough we are. Well, you know, we're talking about. I'm, I'm sorry. What's all right? this? Do you have some facts to give us that we don't already have? I don't know whether you'd call them facts or not, but well. Everybody keeps talking about teenagers as if we were a bunch of freaks or something. We're just wasting time. We wasted too much time already. Kill them We've all. invited Mr. McPherson here. He's principal of the high school. And he can tell us anything these kids can tell us. No, no, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm too noodly. That's why when these students came to me today, I asked them if they'd be willing to come down here and put their case before you. Is that okay? I think you should hear what they have to say. I give you cheetah This is Bill Stilwell, the head of the student council. And Chuck Leewood, captain of our football team. And Sally Lawrence here, uh, senior class president. And She's a girl. And Jamie, Jamie's dad was the one who got hurt last night. Mr. Mayor. I love you. I think Mr. McPherson's right. And I think these students are right, too. Teenagers aren't all delinquents. 
Only a few are involved in these criminal acts that we're all concerned about. If these teenagers, who represent all of the rest, have the courage to come here, then I think we should not only listen to them, but I think we should invite oh, them to help us stamp out this vandalism. I say let's let them talk. I say let's put them to the spanking machine. Oh, yes. And Tony Bozai is introduced. We don't want to punish all teenagers for the trouble a few are causing. Just you. But something has to be done. You know how serious the juvenile delinquency problem has become. We have to take some action to prevent this sort of thing from happening again. Why, he's quite good. Now, if you have some suggestions to offer, we're willing to listen to you. And then kill what you. What can we do? And what can you do to prevent Forest juvenile fires. delinquency? You tell us. Hmm? They called our bluff. What do we do? I think they're still talking about stoning stuff. I offer myself as a virgin sacrifice. <laughs> what would hmm? you do if you were Jamie? That's Prince's new name, isn't what it? Yeah, that's Frank Gorshin's new name. No delinquency? What would you say? What would you say? <laughs> young American, young American. He was a young American. Oh, 